Body cams hit early access, but don't go mixing it up with that other police shooter and record the one that made the internet lose its marbles with that photorealistic trailer. So naturally, you've got to wonder, what's the deal here? Is body cams multiplayer only gig that was whipped up by a couple of kids simply riding the unrecord hype wave? Is it a quick cash grab with about as much depth as a puddle? Or have we got ourselves a diamond in the rough that has a sparkling future? Stick the kettle on, grab yourself a cuppa, and let's get into it in today's review. Bodycam's the second ultra-realistic shooter to hit the PC scene with Unrecord still waiting in the wings. What you're seeing here is the trailer from Unrecord made in Unreal 5, which had us all picking our jaws up off the floor with how real it looked. Then comes along Bodycam, a game cooked up by two French lads, aged just 17 and 20, clearly inspired by, and some might say copied from, that Unrecord trailer. And from a marketing angle, I've got to tip my hat to them. Loads of folks are going to look at Bodycam footage and not twig that it's a different game entirely. How many sales they'll rack up through this confusion is anyone's guess. But they've smartly surfed that unrecorded hype wave like pros that Steve Jobs himself would be doffing his cap from above. And as they say, being first to market will always pay off big time. Before we dive any deeper though, I gotta give a shout out to these lads. At their age, I was down the pub trying to get my end away with the local trouts. So releasing a video game is no small feat, but let's not get too mis the eyed they're charging $30 to play their game so we gotta treat them like big boys now and not hold back on our views so is body cam any good or is it just a pure cash grab well I'm pleased to say there is in fact a game in here a decent shooter no doubt but it ain't without its faults and if these lads are gonna succeed they're gonna need to pull their fingers out and make improvements sharpish first off let's address the elephant in the room this whole body cam perspective malarkey. I get it. It looks super realistic, like you're some American cop shooting first and asking questions later at some poor streamer's house. And sure, it adds to the flow and movement of your body, with your arms swaying left and right drunkenly, because that's how it looks from the camera's viewpoint. But at what point do we call this out as just a gimmick? We obviously have it in Unrecord, we've seen it in that PS5 Ride 4 trailer, and we have it here of course, and I'm just hoping this isn't a new gaming fad. Because the cold hard truth is is, what does the body cam perspective actually add to the gameplay when in reality a real cop ain't shooting from the perspective of his camera. For me this gimmick just makes it trickier to move around the maps or to get a quick angle on an opponent where it feels like your lumbering arms take an age to target up your opponent as you can see here. The game would be better served by dropping the body cam footage in the day to day and instead offer it as an instant replay feature on death or for spectating. That way you still add that photorealism but avoid the frustrations that come with it. Now you might be thinking I'm off my rocker for suggesting such a thing given it's the whole premise of the bloody game but the body cam angle is very much a case of trying to fix something that the gaming industry has perfected over many many years. In my setup I left the auto lean feature on in the options and I've got to say it allowed me to get some proper nice cover in doorways. A feature that I wish more games had that certainly felt realistic over pressing either the Q or E key on my keyboard. Now this is a feature that could have been implemented in a proper first person view giving us perhaps a cross between body cam footage and that of a traditional shooter. And I say all this because underneath it all there is a very good shooter in here. The core mechanics are solid and if they tweak a few things this could be a right gem. The way specific angles on each map for example give you that edge over your opponents is highly rewarding. Elevation here really does matter. Moving meticulously is the way to win rounds. And the maps change with dynamic light making the level's even more challenging. The gunplay itself, it feels authentic and I for one was more than surprised at how well this aspect played out. I assumed with no reticule and a fisheye lens I'd be trying to shoot a fish in a barrel but lo and behold I was picking people off from miles away. Each map feels wonderfully crafted with high levels of detail and Riley Reed choke points to get proper firefights going. The abandoned school is a fantastic map given there are so many other ways to tackle a walkway with the outside spelling death 
for most people and the insides give in that claustrophobic and tense atmosphere. So what is missing then? Well, it's a lot actually. It's a simple shootout between terrorists and police and each round you'll be given a particular gun instead of choosing up front your little poison. I actually quite like the design choice here as it forces you to get good with all types of weapons without giving anyone a particular advantage. But you can't get more grenades from what I can see other than one provided flashbang. You can't see how much ammo you have left which arguably is the realism factor so I can give that a pass. You don't get to select a light or heavy armor mix or use other gadgets like smoke or shields. To put it simply this is a stripped back bare bones take on a multiplayer shooter on relatively small maps and for many of you especially the counter strike crowd this might frustrate you. The same can be said for the game modes. It desperately needs a fleshed out training module and definitely some bot play to make up the numbers or for players to practice on and every game I was thrown into was a team deathmatch even though I believe there's a bomb mission in here but it never seemed to happen for me. There's a case to be made then that body cam is encroaching on being a bit of a tech demo rather than an actual shooter but given its early access status I'll hold back this criticism for now. Maybe six months down the line however we'll see what state the game is really in. Be warned then if you stump up $30 for this there ain't a lot of game here at all. While the maps look great there's only a handful and everything feels very stripped back. It's like buying a shiny new car only to find out it ain't got no engine. Another area the game desperately needs work on is its matchmaking. Granted it's day one so the servers might be getting hammered but half of my playtime was just staring at this screen like the twat that I am. I felt that I had to try 10 servers before being let into one. It does work eventually but they need to fix this pronto given it's a multiplayer only game. The second major issue is when you do finally join a lobby it feels like many people are unsure of how to hit ready on their status where you counterintuitively have to back out a screen upon loading to ready up. As a default they should just hot fix this to make sure that everyone has a green status light until they can actually implement a proper lobby screen to make this cleaner. A game like this will live and die by its first few weeks so it's imperative they work fast to resolve both the matchmaking issues and provide a clearer understanding of how to get games working. Look at Payday 3 for the comparison to something like Helldivers that both had server issues but one succeeded and one fell flat on its ass. And if the French don't sort it out it's going to be as popular as a shit baguette. So on to the big one then, the graphics. They are simply outstanding. It genuinely looks photorealistic and if I'm the bloke who created the hype train around Unrecord I'd be sitting in my pants pissed off that these two French lads have pulled it off. Dust and fine air will cover your lens, the lighting has an almost grainy and glaring feel to it, further emphasising that you're looking through a camera. The environments are beautifully realised with high fidelity photorealistic assets everywhere. The piping on the oil rig looks like it's seen quite a bit of semen. The rubble and rock looks both ugly and beautiful at the same time, like pulling that 2 out of 10 girl after 7 pints. But the tour de force is the lighting. Here it impacts everything as it should, where the blacks are pitch black and the lights at times are blinding. In those moments where the weather outside changes and you're forced to use flashlights, it gives a brilliant vow of visibility that lights you up like a Christmas tree. You'll see players flick these on and off as if wanting a seizure, trying not to give away their location but ending up knocking into walls without them. When you drop someone, you'll see that their gun falls onto the floor, lighting hallways and giving away other players' locations. When shot, your character bleeds all over the gaff, again giving clues to your whereabouts. Truly then, these French boys have created something here that when I look back at that unrecord trailer that wowed us all, I'm not as impressed as I once was. But it's not all perfect, of course. A lot of the game options don't seem to do shit when it comes to frame generation or upscaling, with my 4090 hovering around 60 frames per second at 4K. I imagine lesser cards will struggle then. In addition to this, I had moments where my frame suddenly dropped to 7 frames per second, as if my rig was attacked by some dodgy horn virus. Another area lacking is destructible environments, which definitely needs to be added. At most you can shoot out the odd light, but some more bullet hole effects, maybe wood shattering or rubble shifting would add further immersion here. So still some work to be done, but for early access I am more than impressed at how this is looking. It's like finding a diamond in the rough, it just needs a bit of the old polish. Then we come on to the sound, and again colour me impressed. The gunfights sound brilliant with bullets ricocheting off metal or the thudding sound as bodies get hit. What I love is that when it's your turn to fire a gun, it definitely 
deafens the ears, giving a real sense of power behind each weapon you, you hold. That's what she said. And speaking of which, all the weapons, they do sound unique and well crafted. Even better, distance matters here with gunfire breaking out, giving you a sense of its location and bringing other players to the zone. Ambient sound is also great with storms or rain in the background playing out to give some atmosphere and footsteps are thankfully not overdone. It's still missing more variety overall though, more sounds for each material you walk over, more sounds in how enemies or cops interact with each other with some voiceover or some more ambient sounds in general like creaks and doors swinging open. But for where we are, it's like getting a taster of a proper full English breakfast. You know there's more good stuff to come, even if you only have some beans and tomato on your plate. So an interesting start for body cam and certainly not the cash grab I had feared, but there's no denying $30 is a lot to ask for for what feels like a glorified tech demo missing a lot of features. It's a stripped back raw shooter that could do with a lot of love, but in this early access state, it's got a solid foundation to grow from. I might be the only bloke calling out the very premise of the game, the body cam feature as a bit of a gimmick, but I feel there's such a solid shooter underneath that this feature could be served better in a different form. The sound and graphics are of course the stars of the show, and for the poor sod who wowed us with the unrecord trailer, the ball is truly back in his court to wow us some more. The score today reflects where this game is at right now, and as long as you pass your money over knowing the bare bone games that you're going to be getting back, you might be pleasantly surprised. The real question then is if the developers are going to be happy for their baguette money and move on, or whether they see a multi-year project ahead of them. Until next time, my lovelies, Reggie out.